Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday. It's still QuakeCon 2014. Man, oh man. Let me tell you, the Gamer Geeks are starting to smell. I know I say this every <laughs> single year, but we are on Saturday. And I have got to tell you, the bathrooms have this aura of evil around them that is just redonkulous. Mm, yeah. All right, guys, we are sitting here with a really cool bunch of people. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Winners with the One. I'm here with Hella Legit Games, and we are making Hashtag Wrecked. A they are Hella Legit. Hella Legit, yes. And it's a first-person arena shooter, and I'm here with uh, some of the team, and we're showing it off at QuakeCon. We're doing our first-ever tournament and showing it off to the world in its alpha state. I was uh, playing it a little bit over... Uh, uh, about in the uh, in the gossip bar, yes, yes where we, bar. we posted up in the bar to run. This tournaments. thing is all about movement. Yes, you it, you instantly nice. figure out that it's all about movement when you get into it because it's 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 amazing the uh, the detail to accuracy and control of the movement in this game is is that what you were focusing on? Yes, for this alpha, we really wanted to focus on movement and gameplay and just get the basics down of how the how that works, and then kind of expand upon that from there. And and so far, uh, people seem to like it. That's so it's in the alpha stage. How old is it? Uh, about what four months old, guys? Four months. Yeah, really in so four months. Yeah, we started right around GDC this year. Fairly impressive. Of the, well, real impressive, I should say. It's. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of workaholics, so right. that helps a lot. Yeah. So if you're not here at QuakeCon, is there somewhere where they can see, like, a video demo or play demo, download? Oh, yeah. Uh, so you can actually... Yeah, it's passing that one. There you go. So you can actually find our demo at, uh, at... It's not a demo. It's the alpha build of our software at hellolegitgames.com. There's uh, three ways to download it from Leet Fist, Pirate Bay, and actually our own uh, site uh, through FTP. So, uh... Excellent, excellent. All right, so what inspired this particular game? Uh, we wanted to make a game that was fun for us to play and that uh, we have a little group of gamers that we get together and play and have fun and we wanted to make folks something. folks haven't figured out we're the old guys here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we well, remember what these games used to be like. Yes, and it's very much a callback to that. Yes, and so yeah, we want to make something that was fun for us to play, and hopefully other people, if we like it, other people like it as well. And you see, so that's a, that's, that's an attitude out. that's going out through the entire gaming industry right now because they did the Doom reveal. They went yes. so far back to their roots. It needs to be quick. It needs to be like an improv fight, dancing, dodging, blowing up stuff. Yeah. You know, that's that's what we want to get back to because that's what we were sold on back in the day absolutely all right so where is the project now where is it yeah um, it, it's in the hearts of gamers everywhere hopefully after where, 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 where uh, along in the process what's what's the, what's the next oh, step oh, for okay it? um yes yeah, so we'll be uh making more maps uh, new game modes right now it's just free for all deathmatch uh we just wanted to get a tournament ready build out so we could get it here at QuakeCon. um yeah we'll have several game modes more team based how about a modes. map editor um, there is talk of a map editor. We will be uh, definitely. We want to uh, uh, let modders and community mappers be able to make things for it. Already, the community within two days of the release of the game has made a server browser and launcher for the game. So there we're already go. seeing uh, people in the community kind of responding to that. We are in that been, world where you can crowdsource something like that. Yeah, man, it, that that's been so gratifying to all of us. Absolutely. It really has. Absolutely. So. Uh, where are you guys based out of? We are sort of based uh, all over. Um, I guess we should go around and introduce yes, everybody. Yes, yes. Uh, let's, let's there, everybody. From our pro staff, our, our pro player uh, ritual here <laughs> is coming all the way from Cali. Hello, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm Ritual. Uh, my real name's Ryan. I'm from California, um, coming from like near San Francisco, Hello. all the way out here. Yeah. Um, I help pull uh, legit games out. I do some promotion. I also help out. Um, I have some experience with esports, so I've been helping out like with just ideas and uh, things like that. Yes, and uh, Dr. Killinger is here. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I'm uh, name's Robert. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm, Excellent. Yep, I, very much so. I'm I enjoy it immensely. <laughs> but now I'm kind of the team leader, project leader. I kind of make the trains run on time, so to speak. And so uh, that's my job. Excellent. He calls me the voice of reason. It's an unofficial job title. <laughs> well, every company needs one of those. Yes, indeed. Cool. My name's Kostas. I'm the artist and the voice of Unreason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, they so, also uh, need one of those as yeah, well. Exactly. Uh, so so, so to, to really, truly bring uh, the the world to life, um, I, I've, I've been the only artist working on this project. Uh, so everything that you've seen in the game 
is built by me, um, and I, one of our team members couldn't be here, unfortunately. Uh, his name's uh, he, his gamer title's Vormulak, and uh, he, his real name's Ryan. Um, he's he's the coder that without him this whole this whole thing wouldn't happen. Chief scientist. He, <laughs> there you go. As, there you as, go. As, uh, Robert he's the guy that's making the scientist. telephones out of the coconuts. So, so yeah, no, yeah. He, okay. he's uh, he's the one to thank for hashtag wrecked, and and we all definitely support him in his endeavors. Excellent. So while you he's our ice frog. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get involved in gaming? How to get involved in gaming? Uh huh. Uh, well, I was about five years old. Uh-huh. And my dad brought home a PC. Uh, and the rest is history. And uh, I played Doom and got motion sick. But then, ten years down the line, I didn't get motion sick, and I love the hell out of uh, <laughs> FPSs ever since. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and I started in tribes, and that's actually how I met all these guys. We uh, we started as a, a tribes team uh, called Team Generator, and we then merged with Moot Point, which brought our good friend Ryan in. And uh, we've been Oddly playing enough, games for the past Point, like the four way. years. Yeah, it is. So we're like a, a, fairly a, tight. a tight-knit group of gamers who've been hanging out for four years, which is actually a lot, like, really hard to do in the, in this day and age where everyone's, like, bouncing around from team to team and all this other stuff. Right. But everyone just comes back, and it's like like a, a weird internet family. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Now, how'd you get started with gaming? Uh, it's actually a pretty similar story, actually. Uh, the guy my father brought home a computer when I was a wee little lad. And played played a bunch of Wolfenstein and Doom, and um, I'm here today. Fantastic. So yeah, it actually used to be big into RTSs, but recently arena shooters have won back my heart yet again. I do like my RTS. Um, what's your favorite game? Ooh, favorite game. It's like fi- picking a favorite child or something. That's uh, I I have to if I had to pick one game to play for the rest of my life, it'd probably be Total Annihilation. Total Annihilation. Which isn't an arena FPS, which is a little bit sacrilegious here at QuakeCon, <laughs> but I, I'll stick to my guns. Well, you know, tabletop gaming used to be a sacrilege here. Now there's a whole village dedicated mm-hmm. over there to it. Indeed. Or, so, you know, why not? All right, how about, how about you? How'd you what, uh, how did I get started in yeah. gaming? Uh, mostly by being born, because we, as an old person, we were the first generation <laughs> to have video games. And so we embraced it and just never stopped. I know, so. the kids roll their eyes at us when we talk about old school games, but it's like... That's where it comes from, man. That's 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 the roots. But for us playing Pac-Man, you would not be blowing up stuff today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I started professionally with uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I Excellent. played with the Deadpool clan. We played in Cal and all the big uh, the esports associations of the time. And kind of kept going ever since. I cast with the Independent Broadcast Network. We do a lot of uh, casting for the community around the world. Really, you're on the show? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and pimp that. Okay. Yes. Uh, I be in casting on Twitter. Uh, shout out to all our people at the Independent Broadcast Network. I'm their program director there, and we cover all sorts of games. So, and uh, from Super Bowl, that's been a lot of fun lately. Uh, Super Bowl. We're yeah. taking on Insurgency, CS:GO. Yeah, Super Bowl is fun. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it kind of is a throwback to some of these older games as well. It's sort of it's based on a mod of Unreal Tournament 2004. The, I remember the Death that. Ball. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, there's a lot going on right now. And so you know, there's kind of the, do, do we really need another video game thrown into the mix? I get that. But I think yes. that we're, we're doing something that's uh, unique enough with Hashtag Wrecked that I, I think that it really fills a space that has kind of been lacking for a little bit there. The, the arena shooters kind of went out of style for a minute. They're starting to come back. And we're starting to, like, there's a new version of Unreal coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We're using the Unreal Engine to make this game. And I think that's going to continue. Continue, but it's nice to be kind of at the forefront of that for once, you know, yes. instead of just uh, hermits making something uh, not as relevant. So I feel like the zeitgeist is kind of catching up to us, I suppose. Right, right. Really, when I say that this is all about the control, it's really, you, you got to play. It's phenomenal. It's, it's, it's like playing old school Quake in, in the arena, you know. All right, how yeah. about you? Ritual, how did you get into gaming, sir? All right, gaming. So my dad was a pretty big nerd, and when I was about like three, four years old, I came home, we had an AST computer, and I remember there was like a bald dude with like a white beard and like a button-up shirt talking to me, trying to explain stuff, and um, next thing I know, I'm installing Doom 2 <laughs> off floppy disks, yes. and uh, just playing that for a while when I was a kid, getting really excited because my little icon has like a bloody nose after I got hit and stuff like that. Um, then I kind of fell off for a while. Went to went to elementary school. Um, had a lot of good times there. 
Then when I was about 12 years old, uh, I got into Medal of Honor Allied Assault. That was the first time I did competitive I gaming. So I got into a clan. I was a sniper. I made some maps. Um, and it was a good time. And pretty much ever since then, I've been off and on. Spent, like, thousands of hours playing the specialists back during the Half-Life 1 days. Um, and ever since, I've been pretty much just addicted to first-person shooters. I dabbled with, like, the Red Alerts and the Red Alert 2s. But really, I'm not an RTS guy. I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> really? yeah, that, that's my story. That's cool. All right, so look right there in the camera. Give them all the information they need to find you. Uh, go to hellalegitgames.com. You can download the game. You can try it out for free right now. The alpha is available. Uh, it's uh, very small, and it's in its larval stages, but it's getting better. You can find us on Twitter, at hellalegitgames, and we will keep making this, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. And so far, the reaction has been phenomenal here, and we hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it and playing it. So what's your favorite part of the con this year? What have you seen? Uh, well, for me, uh, personally, just the favorite part is being able to run a tournament of our own game instead of uh, casting other people's games that and, is and having a, a, a positive response. I mean, that that has sort of uh, made the convention for me in, in very uh, personally gratifying ways. Uh, it's just to no end. It's been wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. All right, folks. These guys are hella legit in so many ways. I'm Cyberpunk, and this is QuakeCon 2014.